is opening day, Michigan turkey season. I am all set up, running solo this morning. Cooper's out hunting probably 300 yards on the other side of the farm, pretty much on the other side of the ridge that all the turkeys are roosted on. It sounds like four or five toms and a bunch of jays. Caitlin's out hunting on a different farm. Caden's out hunting. And Mitch is out hunting. So hopefully Mitch shoots one because he's filming too. We're gonna see what happens. It sounds like other hunters are up on the other property kind of messing with these birds too. So it's gonna really depend on where they fly down and what happens. But we got the Jake decoy out at about 30 yards. And um, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Right off the roost. Opening day in Michigan, 30 minutes in, self-filmed. Doesn't get any better than what just happened right there. Yes. Too bad you weren't with me, Coop. You could have doubled up, that would have been awesome. Heck yeah. They're still hammering. Gosh, I love this. They snuck up on me. I was, I kept hearing them, hearing them gobble to the left. And uh, let's make sure I'm real solo. They kept gobbling to the left, and then, boom! I kept hearing yelping. That Tom was yelping. I've never heard that like that before. And just boom, they were right there, coming over the hill. Just swung on them real quick. Turn on the cameras. Or smoked. He's done. About 25 yard shot. That's probably the shortest turkey hunt I've ever had. He's, I think he's a pretty nice one. He's a Tom. Cooper's Cooper's sitting and he he just called because he or I called him and he said there's still goblin on the roost right by him. So we're gonna sit tight, we're not gonna get out. We're gonna try not to spook anything up or anything. Man, first day open in morning. They beat the decoy all up. <laughs> kind of bent the stake, but they popped right up over this hill. I was not expecting them to do that. I had the camera, had the camera turned just to completely different spot. Oh man, he's a nice one. Got a big old rope on him. Probably ten inches or so. Nice hooks. Just a inch. Just a super pretty bear. Came in. Came in with that other one. Could have doubled up. But uh, it was fun. It was fun getting it done by myself. I haven't self filmed in a while. So I figured I. I'm gonna show you my setup since it's such a fast hunt, but I kind of got in off the field edge. Field edge is right there. Kind of got in there instead of like sitting just on the edge. So self-filming, I had this uh, 
just this little skirt had tripod right there gopro and uh my new turkey vest has the little kickstand on it so i don't even need a tree which works really good because you can get kind of in this brushy stuff right here um but i'm probably gonna meet up with cooper here in a second he he called he texted me he's like i don't know how to call quite yet i need help <laughs> he said he really wanted to go out this morning by himself but he's still learning like how to call and everything so but those birds came in a string opening day these birds are so unpressured it's it's dang near so easy if you got them if you know where they're roosted and can get underneath them and just call a little bit and come on in at least at least in michigan now on this piece but we'll see we still got a whole weekend of turkey hunting and uh, definitely think we'll shoot some more birds shells for those of you that watch the uh, shotgun video I ended up with number fours long beard XRs and they were working really good well Cooper's up to bat um, it's probably been two hours since I killed it's about nine o'clock um, new farm we're gonna hopefully go get after some birds I think we saw some in the field but there's a lot of brush so we're just gonna kind of go in the woods and see what happens hopefully we can call them off call them off the field into the woods still got a lot of time left um, let's see what happens. I got Chris's gun. Yeah, Cooper grabbed the wrong bullets this morning, and didn't realize it, so he's got to use my gun. Well, Which I, I reminded him about 10 times to grab the right bullets, and he still didn't. Well, they still work, but they just can't shoot that quick. He well, about, like, brought two and a half, like, what were they, two and a half, four shot shells? Yeah. Which is fun. Instead of three inch. Three inch magnum shells. All right, we're just gonna come up here and call and, and see if something doesn't strike up. Just got set up. We didn't strike any birds on this farm, so we did a quick little walk around the field edges. So they're probably just being quiet. There's definitely birds on here. So we just set up on the field edge and we're just gonna sit, call every 10 or 15 minutes and just see if one gobbles on its own or if we get one fired up. But we'll probably sit here for an hour or so. See what happens. Birds just gobbled when we called. We did get out video, we've been sitting here like an hour and a half. Cooper's not ready and they're coming in hot. Thank goodness. Go shoot him again. <laughs> Get after him. Get after him. You might have to shoot him again. What the heck is wrong with this gun? Why do you not Step on his head, dude. He's not done. Don't point that gun. Step on his head. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. I'm shooting. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. This close? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what happened to my strap? I don't know. <laughs> You're a mess. <laughs> oh, I'm hurting bad. Oh, my. I got to just tie it right back. Dude, it kicks. Oh, you're a nut. It kicks hard. 
you broke it. I don't know what the heck I did. You pulled it out. How? I don't know. How? Is my video still recording? I don't know. I thought I missed him, did you? No, you really broke that. Sorry. Sorry. Right go look I'm gonna go get my camera. Okay. That nut? We brought three shells out here and he used all of them. I'm so confused about the first shot. I know what happened. What? You just rushed it. You I just didn't. you like just got you know, got one pellet in his head or something. Must have. Ooh, season's done. How do you think I peppered it? Can we hold yours? Not sure why not. Here, I can prop it up or something. Nice one. What? It's a good one. It's like a nine inch beard. Oh, not bad hooks on this thing. Look. Oh yeah, that's real good hooks. I picked out the biggest one I saw. Not a very heavy bird like yours. First bird I've ever killed that wasn't at the main farm. Really? Yeah. That's good. Easy good one. Hey, he smoked his head the second time. Third time. Third time. <laughs> no, just a single beard. Pretty good. Nine inch? Probably ten. Nice work. Little rodeo, eh? Per usual. I had my arm like not even hard in the shoulder with a gun. That was bad. <laughs> this happened so fast. It, it was like did. boom, that was it. They hammered like right there. I don't think we would have saw them. Like, well, maybe as their final. It was way. just good luck that we that we called right then. All right, it's day two of Michigan turkey season. My brother and I are headed back out to where we hunted uh, yesterday, and hopefully we'll get on the same birds right where they roosted yesterday. Um, we ended up seeing like two tom two or three toms over there and a bunch of hens, so we're gonna try to get a little closer this morning. We're running a little bit late, but we're gonna bring some less stuff this time and, and hopefully get in as close as we can without spooking them, and hopefully we'll hear them gobble right there, and uh, with any luck, call them in. Did you get him? <laughs> Dude, I was shaking so bad. Oh, I know. Did you see those hens? Yeah. There's four of them at like 15 yards. Hey, they're still... All right. Dude, what, I what am, happened? I am shaking bad because of muscle fatigue and because it's cold. So, I got a little impatient and just crawled up like... 10 yards to this tree because they sound like they're over top of the ridge and they were over top of the ridge. However, um, right when I was kind of turning around to come back, I saw two hens entering this food plot. Like, I don't know, they're already 40 yards away and they kind of just came and they, they stuck on that back side of the food plot for the longest time. And then uh, I could hear like, I think there's actually two jakes that were drumming a little bit and they were full strut and they were maybe 45, 50 yards and I'm like, God oh, dang, there's just two jakes. I'm like, so that's when I stood up. I'm like, well, I'm not oh, gonna shoot yeah. anything. And then I heard uh, a really full gobble just over top of this hill. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> like, there is a time here. And that's when I had my gun just propped up against the tree like this and I'm just standing there. 
and then at one at one point six hens came out in that food plot and they were they were at that tree and I was right here so they were 15 yards yeah. away and that's when I saw a tom start coming out like that so I slowly started getting my gun up and he was at full strut I don't know what it'll be maybe 25 yards and those hens they saw me like I at one point I fumbled my sling and so I was shaking all around and that hen definitely saw me so I was like all right kind of now or never type deal and I tried to make some like clucks with my mouth to get him to <laughs> pop his head up but that didn't work so I just shot him facing me so but I don't think at that close I'm yeah you'll be fine I'm pretty sure you'll Watch be good just hit his head so let's let's go, go check you. him out and dude I don't think he's I don't think he ever saw the decoy all the hens saw him but yeah he definitely did not see the decoy all of this would have been solved if I just put the decoy five yards <laughs> up on top of the hill two-year-old Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, he was full strut, as you can yeah. see it. Messed him up pretty good. That's a wrap, pretty much, for opening day. Cooper and I got birds before noon. Big bird, big tom birds before noon. 11 o'clock, that's when you shoot them. Yeah, yeah, you do shoot a lot of birds at 11. I feel like it's after they, if they fly down, get with groups, and then like 11 o'clock, they, they split up. So that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Two birds before 11. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out bomerch.com. And uh, we're gonna get these birds cleaned up, take some photos. And uh, Caden, we'll probably try to get Caden on a bird unless he wants to get back out this afternoon. And Caitlin's still out. And Mitch is still out. I don't know if Mitch is out or not. But uh, anyways, catch you guys in the next one.